What do you make of this? Well, this is not the most scientific of polls. Um, and so let's start out by saying yep. that. Yep. But I can't say that I'm surprised by it. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the locker room for 14 years. And 92, there was an election. 96, there was an election. 2000, mm -hmm. and I retired before the election in, in 04. Uh, mm. When I got into the locker room, it was told to me, politics, yep. religion, Yep. orientation, we don't discuss that here. Mm -hmm. Because, see, when you're in that locker room, the common goal is winning. Yeah. Let's talk about that. And that's what makes football such an unbelievable sport and so hard to win a championship because you're bringing 53 guys, black, white, maybe Hispanic, or wherever, different backgrounds, economics background, religious background. Yes. So you don't want to say anything or do anything that might upset that balance of you winning a ball game. So... For me, there's a difference between friends and teammates. Mm -hmm. Ray and I were friends. Ray come to my house. I go to Ray's house. We go hang out. There are some guys, you know, like that cartoon where they, they would punch the clock. They would beat each other up. The dog would beat the coyote up. And then they truck. See you tomorrow, Sam. Okay, Hal. That's how it was. We were teammates. Yeah. Then we were friends. Mm -hmm. And see, when you start discussing politics, see, normally when you, when you are voting for someone, my grandfather used to always say, he'd say, boy, you always vote for the candidate that best suits your needs mm -hmm. or your, see, have your views. And so I'm looking, and, and this, is a, this is a very unique a very unique election season this year, unlike any we've seen in the 200-plus years that we've had this, yeah. uh, 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 this United States of America. So it, it's very unique because if, if I'm your teammate and, 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 and you're voting for a candidate that you th say is both most supports your views and your ideals, I'm looking at you like, for real? Right. After what he said? After what she said? After what she did? After what he did? Yeah, right. That's the way you think? Right. Well, <laughs> oh, I can't... I, so now, I'm, Skip, I'm looking at you totally different because you... Hold on. I don't care how much he's going to cut or she's going to cut taxes. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what he said about that person? Did you see what they did about this? And this what you think? So even though it might benefit you financially, mm -hmm. you're willing to overlook all the things that he or she has done? Right. Mm -hmm. Right, so now I'm looking at you like, hmm, so really? Right. So really, that's that. So this is how you really think. Which is, which is why, you know, to back what Shannon said, which is why you don't have these conversations in locker rooms. Because when, when you walk in a locker room, it's one mindset, it's one heartbeat, it's one thought, it's, it's, it's simple. And so when you bring the, the, the political side to the locker room, right? Th there was a time that people, we, we didn't even think about discussing this. You could not even come in and say, I'm voting for this person. You couldn't say that. It, it was just a rule, a written rule. <laughs> no. Because once you went there and that can was yeah. open, you cannot, you cannot close it, right? And when you think about now, right, whether it's Hillary, Trump, whatever, it's a, it's a totally different time right now. It is. It's, it's a totally different time. And so, look, you think about not just the locker rooms, you think about all the unrest everywhere right now. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of unrest from all sides, from all angles right now. And, and nobody has the right answer, because if we had the right answer, somebody would expose it by now and we would all get along, whether you're Democrat or Republican, <laughs> right? But we haven't we haven't found that juice yet. We haven't found that sauce. So if 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 I was to say anything about locker rooms, go back to old school and keep that stuff out your locker rooms. You can't control none of it, right? You you can't dictate what's gonna ultimately happen, but what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna divide locker rooms so much. And when you say certain thing about what somebody believes in and what they don't believe in, mm. then it becomes really personal. Mm. And when you can't come to work and feel good, that ain't good. That ain't good, Skip. So mm. I, I, I think locker rooms, if there was any advice, think about football, think about sports, do what you do, <laughs> but keep that political mess out your locker. Because it's... The thing is, Skip, yeah. is because when you say, well, I like... This, the, first, the next thing when you say you voted for this guy, yep. why? why? That's it. Then, now, then you open it up. So now, yeah. <laughs> so now you're going to talk about, okay, so now I'm listening intently. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm watching you. So now, when, once you tell me who you're voting for after he or she, she yeah. have said everything mm -hmm. she said, yep. I, every time you move, mm -hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. you're waiting to hear that one thing. You're waiting to hear that one thing. 
I'm a, I'm a powder keg. <laughs> I'm a powder keg. Skip. Yeah. You I, are. I'm yeah. a powder keg. Yeah. I know. And the, yeah. and the first time yeah. that I think he might have not even meant anything, right. he mm -hmm. might have said he right. liked driving right. Miss Davis. Right. Right. Oh, what you mean, bro? Right. What you Absolutely. Mean driving One thing. It, it's over. Because once he goes there, Skip, yep. Yep. you can't, you can't, you can never bring it back. <laughs> oh, no, I got it. Yeah. All I know for sure is football is the ultimate team game. Absolute, There's nothing absolute. close to it. Nope. In absolute. basketball, especially at the NBA level, if you have one superstar or maybe two, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what goes in the locker room because they can just carry you. Yes. And you can get through it. Baseball, one pitcher can carry you, and it's you can sort of get through a fractured clubhouse. But I have been through a lot of locker rooms in the old days, back 70s, 80s, maybe into the 90s, I saw locker rooms fractured mostly by evangelical Christians versus non-Christians mm -hmm. because the evangelicals would say, please come to my Bible study on Wednesday night, and they'd say, just leave me alone. Mm -hmm. So I saw a lot of that going on. That was always the flashpoint, yeah. and I saw it split some teams apart. The team I covered in Dallas at 90, in 95 that ultimately went on to win the Super Bowl was fractured in December by a racial issue yeah. that occurred during a game on December 4th at Texas Stadium. And yet the black leadership in that locker room was so strong, starting with Michael Irvin, Charles Haley, Darren Woodson. Yep. They just said, no, we're, we're not, we, we don't accept this. We'll get through this. Right. You stop it and you stop it and we're going to start winning again. And they did after they blew a game to, to a bad Washington team at home. They got on a roll and the rest is Super Bowl history yep. because the black leaders stepped up, as, as you guys mm -hmm. would have, and said, just stop it. It doesn't help us. We No more conversation about this, to your point, because if you start talking about him versus her in this yeah. election, you, you can't win. You, can't you, win. you can only lose football games over that discussion yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. and, and yet, if you guys are friends and you go one way and you go the other, to me, in the end, you still have to respect that, that you're friends. It right. shouldn't end your friendship. And that piece indicated that it had it had blown apart some friendships, mm -hmm. which I find hard to believe, but that's just me. Yeah, you probably weren't that close to friends to begin yeah, with. Yeah, so uh, then you weren't yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you want to talk about dividing the locker room, yeah. Skip, I have know a situation. I'm not going to call no name. A guy was married. Yeah. Another guy on the team, his wife started living with him, living with the guy that was single, and it did miss a beat. But you start talking about religion, and you talk, start talking about you need to come to Bible study, mm -hmm. it's a whole other problem. It's a whole so what, hold on, what, what you're trying to say, I need to come to Bible study. Correct. Right. That's what happens. But sports are a microcosm of society. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. This story did not surprise me. Even though it's nope. not scientific, nope. it doesn't surprise it doesn't me. Surprise I'm sure me all of you have had conversations with friends, mm -hmm. and they're, this is your exactly your reaction. Like, oh, right. didn't right. know that about you. And once you go there, you can't go back. Like, I wouldn't be inviting you to my house. Right, like, I, we, I was going to hang out with you on Saturday, but I just remembered <laughs> I had this thing I had to do.